It is Secret Santa for Strangers, and the idea is simple. Buy a $10 gift, then get anywhere from a handful to dozens in return. It sounds too good to be true. Guess what? It probably is. Not only does the chain fall apart quickly, it is illegal. So here to answer your questions about the Secret Sister Exchange is Tony Binkley from the Better Business Bureau. Tony, thank you for being here. This has caught on. I've got to go over these numbers because our Facebook post warning <coughs> viewers about this, consider mm -hmm. this, reached more than 93,000 people. Hundreds reacted to it. More than 1,000 shared it with friends. Dozens of viewers commented on it. A lot of people saying, but this is real, this is real. You're here to say, no, it's not. This is a scam. Oh, it's not real. It's not real. I mean, it, it may work for a few. It's like a pyramid scheme. It may work for the for a very few at the beginning, but typically you're not going to get anything back from it. So what are <coughs> the consequences? You're putting not only $10 out there, but what else are you putting out there that could harm you in the well, end? I think the $10 is the least part of it because right. $10, it sounds like something fun. It's, it's, it's harmless, but you're putting your personal information out there. You're, you're putting your name and your address out there on the internet, uh, on Facebook, but it's public information at that point, and who knows where it goes after that. So uh, it may seem harmless enough to some looking at it, but indeed, not only is it a scam, it's breaking the law. What laws does this break? It is breaking the law. It's, it's a pyramid scheme, number one. Uh, it's a form of gambling, because anytime you pay, put something out in the hopes of getting more in return, giving one $10 gift and hoping to get anywhere from six to 36 back, that's a form of gambling. And when you're doing it through the mail, it becomes mail fraud, which is a federal offense. And that is, uh, you know, that's all you have to say. This is, this is a bad thing. But can the Better Business Bureau, or is there anyone out there who can actually police these uh, these offers, these too good to be true schemes on Facebook, on social media? Can they be policed? There's so many of them out there; they're hard to be policed. Other than sharing information, this is the best thing to do: is get the information out there to a, to a wide audience and let them know what's really going on. And there's, it's if it, like you said, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. What advice do you have for someone who maybe has fallen? <clears throat> for something like this? Just don't do it. Just ignore it. If it happens again, there's nothing you can do to reverse it. If you've sent somebody a gift for $10 and you've already sent your, your address information out there, that's, that's done. But, but don't do it the next time. Be aware. Be aware. Learn, learn, learn from your mistakes. Absolutely. <laughs> Tony Binkley with the Better Business Bureau. We appreciate your information and we need to adhere to it for yep. sure. Appreciate Glad to be you. here. Thanks.